Central banks around the world have injected money into the economy at a record pace to try to fight a global recession triggered by the coronavirus pandemic. On the jobs front, the unemployment rate has dipped to a new low. It's a pain in the gas. Canadians contend with record high prices at the pumps. Canadians feeling deflated by rising inflation. How food prices are taking a bigger bite. Consumers are grappling with soaring food prices tied in part to the rise in costs of staple ingredients like wheat. Hello, I'm David Droz, the senior market analyst at Ag Chief. In fact, I'm also the founder of Ag Chief. Like right now, you know, there's talk of, of pending recession. Interest rates are going up because of inflation, trying to curb inflation. Usually, you're curbing inflation because you've got a runaway economy that's firing on all engines and prices are going through the roof. This one's a little different. It's a disruption of flow that is causing the inability to access the goods. The goods are in China, they're just not getting here. You know, the goods are in Ukrainians' bins, farmers' bins, it's just not getting out. And I think the government really has got to watch what they're doing here because if they keep raising interest rates the way they are, they're going to turn this into a recession, if not worse. And really, when you think about why we have inflation, this could backfire on them. It really could. Hi, my name is Lauren Menerick, uh, owner of Springfield Meats and Pinterest Pierogies in Winnipeg. But, you know, it, it, in the early years, it was just like a, a thousand square feet. You know, there was only two, maybe another part-time person. Uh, when we were working probably the first, you know, five, five and a half years. And that's the toughest part of taking any business loan or trying to get a business to uh, uh, become viable. It's your first three to five years. Either you make it or you, you know, there's no point renewing your lease. Yes, cost of business goes up, cost of, you know, anything goes up due to the financing. And that in turn slows the economy to stem you the, the buying. But, you know, people have already made those investments. If you raise interest rates, now you're going to have foreclosures. And what does that do to the economy? sinks your stock market, which we're starting to see. So it's a real fine juggling act, in my opinion, with respect to how far you raise interest rates and how fast. And right now the government just seems bent on hell to raise them sooner than later. Personally, I'm not an economist, but I do believe that this could cause a recession that nobody wants. The best advice I can give you, you're gonna get into business, Make sure you've kept your nose clean throughout all your life before then and everything else because it's going to come back and bite you. It, it will. Um, it it's, wasn't a family business when it started. Um, I do have, uh, you know, Janelle and Tyler, my kids working for me right now. Um, you know, the pandemic has, uh, you know, brought Janelle on, whatever, she was a dog groomer. Um, but she's, she's with me now, Tyler was right out of high school. Um, I actually have my sister working for me now because the pandemic ended her job too. So, you know, so it has become more of a family oriented business. So uh, that brings its own dynamics too, whatever like that, when you're, when you're still trying to be the boss and, and run everything, whatever. So, um, but, you know, as long as you understand that everybody is their own individual, 
um, and everybody does things, you know, their own way, as long as it's a food safe way, like how, because of my industry. Um, so it's, it's, it's very hard. All the work that you do, it has to be just a constant, um, it always has to be, a, a, you always have to be on guard all the time, who you're dealing with, what you're doing, is this good for your business? You know, find out who you're going to be doing new business with and stuff like that. Not everybody can, uh, not everybody can do this. Some people, it'll, you know, it'll give you a heart attack. Uh, it'll, it'll definitely get the better of you if it does, uh, uh, you know, it can, it, it can destroy you as a person inside just for the, the stress factor of it. But if, if you don't, if you don't love what you're doing and the reasons why you're doing it, you know, you have to ask yourself that over the years when you're doing, like, it doesn't matter what you're doing, not just what I'm doing. It, it, it applies to everything else. Um, you see people own businesses for maybe five years and then they go into something different. You, you, they own it for two years and then they get out of it. Well, because they were doing it for money and realized, well, this isn't it. I, this isn't making me enough money. Well, then they go do something else. They never got into it for the love of what they're doing. With this next expansion that I'm doing, uh, the risk factor is probably the highest that I've ever taken because you're going into a recession. Because there's so many unknowns, unknowns, I'm starting a takeout at the same time. So it's going to be Springfield Meats, Pinterest Pierogies, a full on kitchen takeout and everything else. Well, there's no place in Winnipeg or Manitoba, which is going to be offering what we're offering. So that's where the new part is going to be able to offer more and more of a one-stop shop. And the pandemic has driven that more and more where people don't want to go into five, six different stores. High gas prices, people don't want to drive to five, six different stores. So this is the next thing that I saw, but I'm just been delayed because of the pandemic a little bit. We should have been set up already, but this is what I, I seen starting a couple of years ago. And this is where you have to be and I should have been there already. And that's the new thing about every two years, if you don't keep changing, you will be left behind or the next person coming in is gonna be set up already. And even though you've done everything right, social media, once again, with their advertising and everything else, you can be bypassed quickly. You know, maybe the next person after you're gone, whatever like that, takes this into a franchise or something else. And that's the difficult part about starting something from nothing is, you know, I'm the dad. I didn't get this from my dad. So when you're the dad, you know, it starts with you. You're the first generation who's actually building this. So, you know, it, it gets to the point where, you know, who's going to take it next? It's not where did I take it? Um, you know, it, that, that probably would have been a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. It would have been a lot less stressful for sure.